Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one gonna be dope, man. I did a dope, dope, dope trip, you know what I mean? So I went to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That was the first stop. I went there, um, I'm thinking it was quiet, and I went to this um, Golden Corral, and it was ratchet, man. Like, it was ratchet as hell, you know? It, it kind of surprised me, because I, I wasn't really expecting that. But um, other than that, while I was out there, it wasn't much to do. But the one thing I had set up was, it was a three-state um, trip again. So close to Milwaukee is Chicago, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a big fan of Chicago music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the culture, all of that, the gang politics and everything, I'm very much familiar with. So um, I drove down there, man. The first place I went to was Little Dirk's block, Lamron. Or, well, you know, it's really called normal, but, you know, they call it Lamron. Uh, I went there, took a picture. And I just remember being out there thinking like, yo, we go down out here, you know what I mean? Like, you got to be safe, man. You know, people getting shot out here. But um, one thing I realized, it was nobody outside. Like, it really was nobody walking around. It was like, just deserted everywhere I went, man. But um, not too far from where little Dirk live at, um, where he from, is Old Block. It's like, really not too far, you know what I'm saying? So um, I drove to Old Block, you know, that's where Chief Keith, King Vaughn and all of them is from. And I took a picture, and I remember looking at it going, damn, this is look just like the videos, you know what I'm saying? And it, yeah, it, was, it was dope, man. And then um, from there, you know, I drove up the block, went to 600. If anybody, you know, is familiar with the Chicago drill scene, you know about 600, 600 Breezy, you know, E-Day, Rondo and all of them. Yeah, I went to their hood and uh, took a picture there. And um, I just remember everywhere I went, you just felt the tension. You felt like, you know, like she could go down any minute. You know what I'm saying? You pulling up on people blocking, taking pictures and all that. And you know what I'm saying? People don't know you. You got dreads. So it was kind of crazy. But, you know, I, I'm one of them dudes that live my life, you know, on the edge. So, you know, I really didn't care, man. So, yeah, from there, I drove to, you know, St. Lawrence and 63rd. So just to let everybody know, you know, if you've never been to Chicago and if you, you know, familiar with the, the drill scene, all of those blocks is literally two to three blocks away from each other. Like all of the famous rappers that's beefing with each other and, and you know at war with each other, they all live right next to each other. All like in a cross direction. You know what I mean? Like one to be here, the next one to be up the block, the next one to be to the left, the next one to be to the right from there. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's just crazy, man. Like damn, I see why they beefing. They really live close by. So um, after that, I went to Lil Herb and Lil Baby Hood, 79th and Essex. You know what I'm saying? And it was crazy because when I was over there, it was a dude posted up in the cut and he had his hands, you know, around his waistband. You could tell he had it on, you know what I'm saying? I, I could tell. And he was looking at me like, damn, who the hell is this dude? I'm looking at him like, yeah, don't try it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just took my picture. He ain't say nothing, you know, he ain't do nothing. But like I said, he, he was sitting in the cut at, at this abandoned building, like in the little shadows and stuff. So I just knew he was waiting for, you know, the wrong person to pull up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was that, man. So then from there, I drove to Kanye West's old famous um, house. And I realized he lived like in an area which it looks like it's a little away from all of the madness and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like it was kind of like on the outskirts. And I guess that's kind of why he didn't grow up that type of, you know, person compared to like the other draw artists and stuff like that. Because he actually lived like, you know, in a different area. For people that's from Brooklyn, you could just compare it to, you know, all other dudes living in like, you know, Brownsville, East New York, Best Style, and Kanye West living in like Clinton Hills, you know what I'm saying? Where it's still Brooklyn, but it's still like over there where, you know, things don't really happen as much, you know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, man, I went to um, Dio Dino's, I think it's called, or Jordano's, I, I don't know. I think it's called the Gino's, but I, I don't know how you pronounce it, but um, you know, it was like a famous pizza spot, man. I went there and um, I got the deep dish pizza and uh, I got some wings. So I'm gonna tell you right now, man, I'm from New York, you know what I'm saying? They always tell us that Chicago pizza is good, right? This pizza was trash. I'm sorry, it was trash. I mean, this is the thing they're known for. This is the famous, you know, pizza spot that everybody go to and the food was trash, man. The deep dish pizza just tastes like a, a big bowl of like tomato sauce, like on bread. Like, I don't know, man, it was just nasty, man. So. That being said, man, it's nothing like New York. It's nothing like New York, man. You know? But um, yeah, man, I drove back to um Milwaukee. Um, I went to the you know Milwaukee Bucks Stadium. But also, um, when I was in Chicago, I can't forget um 
I went to the Chicago Bulls Stadium, man. You know, definitely gotta go check that out. So I went there, you know, like I said, in Milwaukee, I went to the Bucks Stadium. And then I also drove up to the Green Bay Packers um, Stadium in Wisconsin, which is Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's um, not too far from Milwaukee. It's like maybe a, a 45 minute drive or something like that. It really wasn't nothing too crazy. So then um, I was out there on this little tour for like a couple of days. So the last stop was um, Detroit, because you know, for those who don't know, Detroit isn't too far. Now, one of my plans was, and you can do this if you want to, I was originally planning to drive down to um, Chicago, and then from there drive to Detroit, which is, I think, about a four-hour drive, and then from there I was going to try to get a flight back to New York, but the problem was I couldn't really get a flight, um, you know, again, I was flying for free at the time, so, you know, there was no flights really set up for me to get back, so I basically just, you know, um, flew to Detroit and then flew back, you know, stuff like that. And plus, I think I really didn't want to do the drive, you know what I'm saying? I think I think it was something like that, you know. But, um, yeah, anyway, so when I was in Detroit, man, you know I had to stop to Eminem, so, you know what I'm saying? I had to go to 8 Mile, see what it, what, you know, what it was about, what it looked like. And the one thing is, I just remember being surprised because, you know, growing up hearing that, you know, he lived in a trailer park and all that stuff, you just picture it being, like, secluded and in the woods or, you know, you just picture it being, like, somewhere very different. The trailer park literally is on the block of a major highway. Like, it's very much just buildings that just look like trailers. So it's, it's not like it's something separated from, you know, the rest of society. It's literally like you're driving, you see houses, and then this little block right here just have what look like trailer houses, and, and that's really it. So it kind of surprised me because I'm like, he, you know, he lived in a trailer, yeah, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, you know, what I, I pictured to be, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that's basically about it. But, um... Yeah, I went to um, some other famous spots. Um, this dude named Jay Dilla uh, went to his old house and uh, stuff like that. And um, the one thing I remember about out there in Detroit was it was kind of sad, man. Um, everything was boarded up. Like everywhere I drove, you see nothing but abandoned buildings everywhere throughout the whole city. And this was around the time when you know the city had went bankrupt and everything like that. So it was just crazy to drive around and really see that. Like wow. Um, I drove also to um, General Motors, you know, that big um, old factory and everything. And I also went to Motown, um, stuff like that. I don't remember if I took pictures there because you know, I just drove there to see it. I wasn't really too fascinated. And then again, like I said, when I was there, you know, I really didn't, you know, think I would be doing a vlog. You know what I'm saying? So some of it was just going there for sites. And, you know, I didn't really take some pictures in some of the areas, man. But yeah, man, that was my three state, um, three city, you know, or four city if you want to count Green Bay, um, tour, man. And yeah, if you if you want to go to that region, definitely go check it out and everything. And um, I went to October. It wasn't really too cold. You know, I wouldn't advise you to go out there, like, you know, when it's real, real cold or whatever. But yeah, man, definitely. If you want to travel, you know, around America and see different things, that's a little idea right there you could do, man. All right, peace.